This video is on nuclear chemistry. This comes from chapter 25 of your textbooks, and we will cover all four sections. Um, so you want to reference that material. You have some vocabulary words to start off your notes. Uh, decay, bombardment, capture, half-life, fission, fusion, radiation, and transmutation. All these definitions will come out of your textbook, and you want to just go there. I can look in the glossary or the index to figure out what section they are in and you want to identify what those words mean. Okay. There's a couple of particles that you must know and you want to know their effect on the mass number and the charge of your nucleuses or your nuclei. We have our alpha particle. This is shown as a helium atom and we're just looking at the nucleus. So we have the mass number of the nucleus, number of protons plus neutrons and our atomic number, or number of protons, in the nucleus, which is our charge, because we're just referring to the nuclei. Uh, we care about the positive charge of that atom, which is in the nucleus. So we have a charge of two. Uh, your alpha particles, when in radiation, are going to be the heaviest and slowest radiation, and your clothing can just protect you. Um, that's all the more protection you need from them. Next we have beta radiation, or beta particle. This looks like and is shown as an electron. Electrons do not have any mass. They have a negative one charge to them. These are going to be faster than alpha particles. They're going to penetrate the body. And in order to protect yourself from a beta particle radiation, you need a thin sheet of lead to protect you. Next we have gamma rays and gamma radiation. This is abbreviated as a particle that has no mass and no charge. And it is a, a Greek sign for a gamma. So, looks like an upside down curvy Y. This is the fastest radiation and it's going to penetrate completely through your body, uh, through your skin, through, um, it pass straight through you. And in order to protect yourself from this, you need feet upon feet of concrete um, before it would stop penetrating and would not uh, harm you in any way. Okay. Two other particles, we have a positron. This is abbreviated as a positive electron. Uh, again, it does not have any mass and it has a positive one charge. And then we have our neutron, which has mass to it, but no charge, and abbreviated as a lowercase n. So again, you must know all of these particles um, off the top of your head. All right, moving on to nuclear equations and four types of nuclear reactions. All reactions are going to cause a transmutation to occur, which is just the number of protons or neutrons in a nucleus, and a nuclear particle is either absorbed or emitted from this transmutation occurring. Like I said, there are four types. We have natural radioactive decay. This is where a nucleus is going to naturally absorb or emit a nuclear par particle, that way it's stable. So this is it looking to be in that band of stability, which is from your pogo. Number two, we have artificial radioactive decay. And this is where a scientist is going to bombard a nuclei with different nuclear particles to have it split apart or have it um, form together to make something new, a new element. We have fission. This is where a nuclei with a large mass are going to be bombarded with particles that are going to split that large nuclei into two smaller nuclei with smaller mass. And we have fusion, which is a nuclei of a smaller mass is going to be combined together to form a heavier nuclei. And we'll talk more about fission and fusion in the upcoming days. Some causes of nuclear reactions, this natural radioactive decay, are going to be caused by unstable nuclei, which is due to too many or too few neutrons. So remember, in our nucleus, we have neutrons and protons, so it's positively charged. And those neutrons kind of fill in the holes around and surround our protons that kind of buffer them from each other. Because otherwise, a proton next to a proton is going to repel because it has two of the same charge, two positively charged. So atoms that have less than 30 protons are going to need a ratio of neutrons to protons of about 1 to 1 because it has a number that it can handle. But atoms that have more than 30 protons 
are going to need a ratio of one and a half neutrons for every one proton to have more buffer in between those protons because it's so positively charged. So if it doesn't have this ratio here, it's going to either absorb or emit a nuclear particle, any one of the ones we just talked about previously, in order to attain this ratio. And that's where you have this natural radioactive decay occurring. So like I said, results of this radioactive decay are transmutations, which are going to be new elements made. All elements uh, that come after uranium on the periodic table are your transmutative elements. And these are ones that are all made in the lab. They're made with force, so scientists is bombarding a nuclei to occur to have something happen. Um, and all of them after this, because they are forced into having a nucleus that they didn't want initially, they're going to be radioactive, meaning that they're going to want to nuclearly decay.